How should you roll with upper belts, with people more experienced than you? I'm Peter Madler, I'm a fourth degree BJJ black belt, so I've got some experience in it and I'm teaching professionally since over 18 years. Honestly, it's not an easy question. First of all, there's many different upper belts and different people might want to have a different role with you. One of the easiest things and best advice is to ask. I'm gonna ask, how would you like to roll? Wanna go easy, wanna go tough? I'm doing that when I roll with people, especially like older than me or even younger than me. If I don't know someone, I don't know the mode that he wants to go or that she wants to go, I will ask them. I will just simply ask. It's the, one of the best solutions ever. Because someone might want you to go as hard as you can. But usually, if you go very hard, especially if you try to challenge me, there's a difference between a hard roll and the reckless role. There's a difference between a competitive role and the role where you really think it is a competition. When I'm much more experienced, I am having some responsibility for that role ending healthy, that we go home healthy and as friends. And it's not always easy, right? And one of the problems is that if you go very hard and I need to protect myself and I need to go harder as well, then both of us are not really profiting. If I'm much stronger and much more powerful, much better jujitsu, and I will just beat you or just tap you, you have probably learned nothing. You had a good workout, it was good for your conditioning, it was good for your muscles, yeah. But what did you really learn about technique and timing? What did you really learn about like the fine things of jujitsu? Probably not much, and me neither. I've probably been going out all out with people stronger and more experienced than the one who just challenged me in a normal rolling setting. So as a lower belt, you can profit most if you go on a level that you can still think, that you can still move in a controlled manner, but just shy of it. So always be controlled, always be thoughtful when moving, be conscious, but never be too lazy. So it's as I said, it's a fine line and usually an experienced upper belt should not be mad at you for not knowing that line. Like obviously I as a more experienced person understand that a less experienced person is less experienced, right? So yeah, you see with all that meaningless blah blah that I just did that it's not that easy and it's good if you're reflecting and you're thinking, okay, it's not always a good idea to challenge them. Most of the times I'm thinking, like right now, I'm thinking about someone who's way less experienced than me, like a white belt, maybe 60 kilogram white belt. There's nothing to gain from trying to hurt me or injure me. Not for me, not for him. However much strength he uses, I can just use more. However much speed he uses, I can just use more. So if there's a, there's a challenge, there's nothing to gain except conditioning. Okay. But if you want to go on a technical role, use some of the power that he has, then both of us will profit. If you allow me to go easy, I will. If you allow me to work technically and go easy and give you some advice, I will. I will love to. I will love to have a fun role with you. I will absolutely love to and I think most upper belts will be like this, hopefully <laughs> your school too. And especially the older we get, the more we tend to enjoy this. I have people in my dojo, like a brown belt, he's just 40, he had some disc issues. Oh, you, you can roll hard, but when he's healthy, he will love it. But right now, the best thing that I can do is have a technical role ask how it feels to him to ha get his feedback what could i do better like just ask for advice even if i'm more technically advanced i will ask for his advice and he will love to help me and he will do the same for you if you're a white belt if you ask for advice if you roll technically if you try to have clean good technique and if you use clean technique against me i will let you do the technique if you do not use clean technique i will probably counter technique so yeah that was more of a of a of a ramble of a rant 
I hope there's some useful information for all, for all of you. And I hope I have not made a fool out of me <laughs> for speaking like that. So enjoy your jiu-jitsu class. And I will just repeat the best advice. Just talk to each other. Just ask.